assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to change these uh, types controller types so how we can do that in rcc so rcc already have a system so if we go to rcc car controller demo scenes you will see that we have some demo scenes if, if i open some scene for example this car selection scene and if we play the game you will see that uh, there is a default car selection scene which you can use in your games as well and uh, here you can see we can move the car and we can control the car and also we have this options panel if we go to options panel you can change the controllers and the most important controller if we want to use a uh, change is steering wheel okay so if we use select ui button and select and you can see that our new controller is changed so we want this functionality in our game as well so we can go to uh, scenes and uh, level one and here you can see that we have this game ui which is the older one so if i open the game ui uh, before opening the prefab i will just create a new ui okay so that if we got some errors or problems our main ui will be remaining same okay uh, so i will just rename this to game ui new and then we will make uh, a prefab of this game new ui and i think uh, yeah so now we will open this prefab and you can see that uh, we have this uh, game view and the options panel is not here options button is not here so inside the test buttons we have options button so if we open uh, we ch uh, check this option you can see now the we have a options button and i have changed the uh, i have changed the uh, sprite of this options button so it is it only the setting uh, icon okay you can change it and you can delete the text under the options panel so it's up to you you can remain it uh, with the older one or you can change it so now if we save it and if we move back and if we play the game you will see that we will have a settings button and uh, if we click on this button you will see options panel is here now okay so now uh, we will uh, check that what is on this uh, setting button okay so i will just open the prefab again and if we select this uh, setting button you will see that it contains a function here on click and it's making options panel active okay when we click on this button options panels become active and if uh, and the test uh, a buttons section become inactive okay so this is the uh, main logic of this options button which is very easy now we will check that what is going on with the options panel so if we open the options panel you will see that uh, we have this options panel and it has a lot of uh, properties lot of buttons we don't need uh, uh, these all properties we only need the ui buttons so I will select the UI button uh, game object which is actually the controller type mobile and here you can see that what is this thing here you can see that this is a drop down okay so we if you want to create your own controller and uh, for with a new UI you can create a drop down menu and then in drop down we have added these functions so we have clicked on plus we have created ui buttons accelerometer steering wheel okay with this plus plus like this and then we you can change the names so the names should be the similar with ui buttons accelerometer steering wheel and joystick okay the exact same spelling so because these uh, are uh, the selection is being made by a script so what is the script so here you can see that we are selecting the game ui new here okay on value changed function and on value changed function we have selected a function inside the game script so we have selected rcc demo script 
and here we have selected set mobile controller so similarly you can create your own button and own controller as well but in this case we will only customize this section so if we open the option panel you can see we have a label uh, we don't need this label we will just make it uh, inactive we don't need the another label we also don't need we need this label and we don't need these two labels and we also don't need this property if you want you can uh, definitely use these things for you uh, if you want uh, need spawning system or other uh, things like uh, key, uh, keyboard selection and xbox selection etc you can hold these settings so we don't need it in our case so uh, we only need the steering uh, properties so i am just going to disable all other things so these buttons we don't need it we also don't need restart and behavior type quit close button but we need the select button okay because we need to select it and also we don't need this text so we will select it or oh, and we can change it or we can hide it so now we will select the set button and uh, we will make it uh, in the middle we will add it in the middle then we will select uh, this section which is uh, ui buttons we will move it to middle approximately and then we have a label which we will add here and uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger okay so that's it we have successfully changed our ui so now we will uh, select the options panel we will make it hide initially we'll save the prefab we'll move back and then if we play the game you will see that we will have a function of changing the uh, main controller so here you can see we have this controller if we move you can see it's working absolutely fine if we click setting if we change the controller to accelerometer we have another view if we change to steering wheel select you can see we can use steering wheel as well if we go to settings if we select a joystick we have joystick now so if we if you check joystick is also working absolutely fine okay so now you have seen that we have successfully added the other options of uh, steering wheels and uh, that's it for this video and in next video we will move further Allah Hafiz